trial. Uh, this is kind of a, a testing rambling video. I'm trying to do check these uh, the equipment here, and I'm just doing a one of the quick capture type uploads here from YouTube. Uh, it is Wednesday. It's the morning after the election up here in Canada. Uh, I work the one this one this time. Uh, I, I usually work all the elections, or I get involved somehow. I mean, I'm not really political, but uh, I guess I am to a certain extent. I mean, y you want to be involved. I should probably talk a little bit louder because I notice it. Whoops, maybe not that loud, but I do notice this green line here going up and down while I'm yakking. So uh, this is kind of a test of this microphone. I don't know if this thing works or not. You know, I might have to play with another microphone or get a new camera here. One of the ones with the new ones have little microphones right built right into them, which is kind of cool. Besides, this one makes me feel like I'm back doing the uh, computer help on the telephone type thing, eh? So. And you only got mono in one ear. But anyways, back to uh, the politics here. Poor turnout. Oh, man, there was only like, what is it, 59.1% nationally turned out? Uh, I thought, actually, you know, because I, I worked it th this year. I was doing one of the polling stations. I was a deputy returning officer this year. And uh, I was also actually shocked at, uh, uh, you know, the conservative winds type, you know, especially out here in BC, that was, that really surprised me, I didn't think they were going to do as well as they did, but, anyways, uh, the, the turnout here, I thought it was, we were doing really good, I thought, I, like, my particular polling station was up around 73%, I think we did the, uh, uh, you know, sort of a quick calculation ratio, eh, but, anyways, I didn't see any of my buddies there, dicks, you guys should friggin' vote, you know, you can't complain if you don't vote. You should get involved or at least, you know, rant on YouTube like this. I mean, you, uh, if you want to change some things, you got to change some things, right? No other way of doing it. You got to do it yourself. Uh, I might have to resituate my camera here too, because get too much glare. I got. I need to have a window open so I can see, because I'm half blind, you know. But, <laughs> anyways, like I said, this is kind of a test of all this. Uh, camera and stuff like that. I wish, man, I wish there were some way I could show you stuff, like, for that silent video. This is that waddle and, for the waddle and daub walls. There was, uh, oh man, I can't remember your, your handle there. Sorry, guy. Anyways, he was inquiring as to making waddle and daub, eh, for, for, uh, you know, it's kind of a an old European style building, or, Actually, did made, there's a couple different waddle and daub type things. It's basically a stick wall with mud or, you know, some sort of plaster on it. So, I mean, normally doing this, hey, also should use a flush cut nippers. Actually, you know what works good if you don't have those nice flush cut ones is, you know, toenail clippers. They work pretty damn good, you know. They'll cut things nice and flat, you know. they got a sharp edge on both sides. They come together nice. Anyways, toenail clippers work really good for doing stuff like this, eh? Nice, cheap flush cuts. So anyways, cut the ends off these ones here. Now I use a uh, fireplace matchstick size wood here. I, I I can actually cut them this size now. So this is an eighth of an inch by eighth of an inch. But anyways, if you, get, if you can't cut them, get yourself some fireplace matchsticks, eh? And then just bust the heads off them. So that's what I kind of did for this waddle wall part of it, you know, and they had braces and all kinds of weird things, hey, you know, like sticks that they would put in there, and then they cover it with mud, eh, should look pretty good, you know, of course I'm going to have some of this exposed, you know, so like it's being shot or whatever, eh? it's kind of a test piece, I've never done this stuff before, I didn't even know about it until the guy asked me the, you know, how to do it, uh, anyways, he said he, that he had tried uh, using burlap coffee sacks and kind of glued them on cardboard. You know, uh, that, that that was going to be my first attempt was I was actually going to try burlap and just pull out, you know, a couple of strands every now and then so you can get this kind of, you know, ef effect and then it'd be weaving in. You might have to push down the strands if it's a loose weave, hey, you know, like like in loom, hey, push them together a little bit. But, geez, I thought that would have worked. You know, you could probably coat it with white glue, like a PVA white glue or, uh, 
you know, weld bond or something, and that would really stiffen it up. Or there's that fabric stiffener that you can buy, and then glue it on rather than gluing it onto a piece of cardboard. And then, you know, just I would actually, you know, either use that flex paste that you can get from Woodland Scenics, or I would use uh, sculpt a mold. It, I'm actually going to. That's what I'm going to use. So I'm going to mix a little bit of brown and black paint in with the sculpt a mold, and then uh, kind of just apply that on like just like mud on here. Anyways, that's going to be, this is my test piece, eh? You always, that's how you practice, eh? Build, build a little test piece, you know, spend eh, three hours or whatever, you know, trying to figure out how to do it, make a little test piece, and then toss it in a box for six years, you know, and then at least you know how to do it. At least that's how, I'm one of those guys who want to kind of know how to do everything. Uh, six minutes. I ramble, ramble a lot, you know. Oh, man. Anyways, I'll keep this under 10. Uh, <laughs> my postal rant, my Canada Post postal rant. That was funny, eh? There's that, uh, that postal worker <laughs> guy. <laughs> Anyways, what do you call me? Uh, a little bitch or something like that. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Not very Canadian of you, eh? Besides, I mean, if we have... Switch or quit bitching. My God. Yeah, I'm going to rant for a little bit now, okay? Uh... You know, I, oh, I would love to switch from Canada Post and use somebody else. Unfortunately, the buggers won't let anybody else compete on the kind of, you know, low cost type I area. It's all got to be competing in the courier business only. Well, who the courier stuff every friggin' where? You know, you want to put it in the god dang mail. You know, so, anyways, all you have to do is look at my history on the internet and check this guy's history on the in internet and I mean who you want to believe but anyways Canada Post friggin sucks they overcharge they over flip and charge and there's no justification for the charges that they charge and as for couriers they friggin overcharge too you know and the only thing that we can do to friggin fight the situation is not use them not use them and complain I mean Canadians don't complain I mean I don't know if it's apathy or if we're too goddamn polite or what, but freaking stand up for yourselves. Holy shit. Anyways, that's my little rant. Uh, what else did I want to say today? Oh, hey, these are cool. Halloween's coming up. Yeah. No, I'm not ADD. I can't switch like that. Check out these glasses, hey? Aren't those cool? Yeah. I'll put them on for you. I don't know if this will work. Hey, can you see? <laughs> Those are neat, eh? I like these glasses. Anyways, they were a buck at the dollar store, a buck and a half or something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these for a uh, Lord of the Ring, for Lord Lord of the Rings, you know, thing for the you know the one eye, eh? That's kind of floating around. Okay, so I'm going to take out one of these lenses and then use this holographic eye and you know mount it in between the two pillars type thing and then maybe put a little LED light in behind it so then it would glow and you'd get that sort of fire effect maybe in behind I don't know hey I don't know if that would even work do I got a lighter oh if I had a lighter I could test anyways I'll do that cool hey eh? motor store that's neat so anyways I've got these sitting by the camera like this so now I've got a set of eyes to look at and it actually like I'm looking at somebody when I'm talking which is kind of cool uh what else what else nine minutes i guess i should go anyways this was a test uh hey 40k chaos lord dude looking forward to your live broad broadcast here today uh should be coming up in an hour or so hey thanks for testing it out for me because i want to try it too uh i was going to do wednesday but i think i'll probably do wednesday night here uh pacific time you know like you know seven ish i don't it's not like anybody's going to be friggin' watching the thing out live anyways. So, uh, for the live-ish type show, send me an email as to anything that you would like me to discuss about, or, I mean, or a, a topic for the evening. I mean, that, I, you can go, go to my webpage where it says live, live show, Kamloopian live show, or Kamloopian live, if you, uh, Google it, you should be able to find it. So anyways, there's a 10 minute test of this camera. Half of the volume you're probably not going to be able to hear. Uh, big white face here from all the glare and eh. Anyways, 
like I said, this is just a test, okay? Take it, take it as a grain of